Render subdivision modifier wireframe in Blender with geometry nodes. How to visualize your subdivision surface modeling skills in the best way in Blender. Ever wanted to show off your models and render a clean mesh of your model with a subdivision surface modifier? If you've tried this in older versions of Blender, you've probably stumbled. None of the available tricks could really bring out the clean lines of your mesh easily, quickly, and beautifully. The advent of geometry nodes in Blender changed all that. Let's get to it. If you don't want to be bogged down with a detailed procedure, download this template straight from Blender Kit and apply the Geometry Nodes modifier to your model. You can also download one of the scenes we have prepared for this purpose. So let's build our subdivision modifier on steroids. First, let's add subdivision surface node and set the subdivision to 2. Then add input, named attribute, pick crease in the name field. Connect this attribute to the edge crease input of the subdivision surface node. Now, let's add Mesh to Curve, Curve to Mesh, and join Geometry as a new branch after the subdivision. Add Curve Primitives, Curve Circle, and connect it to Profile Curve of the Curve to Mesh node. Set the Curve Circle Radius much lower, let's say 0.01, and the Resolution to 8. Now we have the mesh sort of visualized, but we see every face. We want just the original edges and original vertices connected by smooth curves between them. We'll capture an attribute before the subdivision and transfer it after the subdivision. Add capture attribute node right before the subdivision node. Set the first value to Boolean, second value to Edge, and check the Value field. Connect the Attribute output of Capture Attribute node into the Mesh to Curve node selection input. Now we have only the edges we need. Let's continue with visualizing vertices. Add another capture attribute node right behind the first one, you need to set it up a bit differently. We'll find the original vertex by matching index of the vertex, so we now need to store the index of the vertices before the subdivision. Set the capture attribute node to integer and second value to point. This means we can now store numbers on the points of the mesh before subdivision. Add input, index, and connect it to the value input of the capture attribute. Now let's add the shape that will show vertices. Add mesh primitives, icosphere, and instances on points. Connect the mesh output of icosphere to instances. Connect your subdivision surface output to the points input of the instances on points node and connect the instances on points geometry output to your join geometry node. Set radius of the icosphere node to something smaller, like 0.2. We now have all the vertices visible also as spheres, but we can use the second capture attribute we added. 
we need to compare the indices of the original and the new mesh, and if these match, the vertex should be shown as a sphere. I'll search for the equal function which is part of the math compare node. Add another input, index node, and connect it to the other input of the compare node. The output of this compare node can go directly into the selection input of the instances on points node. Well done! Now we have the basics and can just add some things to polish the result. Let's add three material, set material nodes, each one to each part of the mesh, the surface, the edges, and the vertices. You can enter any materials you make. I usually pick some simple colors because the simplicity is what makes things beautiful in this case. Last touch is to add a mesh. Set shade smooth. The mesh has separate materials and looks great. If you feel like it, you can pull some of the input parameters in each node into the group input node. I've selected subdivision level, the radius of the spheres that display the vertices, and the thickness of the edges, then the materials. This is the end of our tutorial. You have learned enough for today. If you want to verify that you've done everything just like the tutorial, download this asset and verify that you've done everything right.